We begin with breaking news. This is the end of a wild pursuit, one of the wildest pursuits we've seen in some time. You see the suspect there just taken into custody. Live picture from Corona. You see that person is going to be taken potentially to the hospital to be checked out. And let's show you why. Uh, this is what just happened a short time ago. Look at this. So you see a pursuit suspect here. Christine gets boxed in by officers here. So you think, okay, that's the end of the pursuit, right? No. The suspect keeps driving into a fence, seems to get stuck between two cars. Look at this here. The police officer tries to stop him, hits into a car himself, and then the guy is off. So this is a stolen vehicle. Look at that move right there onto the freeway there. You got to watch how this plays out. This stolen truck, you're going the wrong way. Watch the traffic come up against this vehicle. People not knowing what is going on here. The vehicle is smoking. Obviously, it's been damaged. It's going to stall. The person goes running. Yeah, so this is essentially Frogger that you're looking at here. The person draw, running across the freeway, cars going 60, 70 miles an hour. Amazingly, this person is not hit. They're able to keep going and go all the way across all the lanes of traffic and make their way into a nearby parking lot. That parking lot, the home of a Denny's. But let, let, let's note, we're thinking it's a woman with blonde hair running in a red dress into this lot here. It's gonna come up, she's gonna come up on a vehicle. That vehicle is like, I don't think so. Yeah. Person keeps on going. Watch as the wig is gonna come off. Yeah. So we think it's a woman could be a man not sure there goes the wig and loses a shoe as well so then we head into the denny's where at, at, at some point the officers will arrive with guns drawn there we go and then uh, after about 10 minutes or so are able to get that suspect out of there so we don't have a lot of information about who that suspect is as christine pointed out what the gender of that suspect yeah. is. Uh, it appears that that suspect is going to need some sort of medical treatment at this point. Well, we weren't sure for a while there if the person was in the Denny's or not. They went in with a canine and a battering ram, so who knows what went on inside that Denny's, but right there you saw that suspect is now in custody and officers going home. Nobody hurt that way, but those vehicles are pretty banged up. We'll have more on that at 10.30. With that, we welcome you to the Fox 11 News wow. at 10, everybody. I'm Alex Michelson. And I'm Christine Devon. Thanks for being with us. New at 10 after a five-month-long writer's strike. Late-night talk shows are back on the air. Fox 11's Ed Lasko is live in Hollywood, where Jimmy Kimmel is among the first to return with a new show tonight. Ed. And it sure is really the first sign that Hollywood slowly is coming back to live. Jimmy Kimmel live with his first show as his studio here in Hollywood has been dark really the last five months or so. His first guest, Arnold Schwarzenegger, and the audience really seem to like it mostly because their entertainment is finally back on. Watch.